Hello students. I hope everybody is enjoying their Friday and looking forward to the weekend. Um, hope everybody's staying busy at home and staying safe with your social distancing. Uh, it's a weird, unique time and hopefully this will be over soon and we can get back to normal. So go ahead and either before or after this lesson, uh, do your 15 minutes of Membean. And then go ahead and log into your Common Lit account and go down to the poem. I am offering this poem by Jimmy Santiago Baca. All right, let's go ahead and listen to the poem. I am offering this poem by Jimmy Santiago Becca. I am offering this poem to you since I have nothing else to give. Keep it like a warm coat when winter comes to cover you, or like a pair of thick socks the cold cannot bite through. I love you. I have nothing else to give you, so it is a pot full of yellow corn to warm your belly in winter. It is a scarf for your head, to wear over your hair, to tie up around your face. I love you. Keep it. Treasure this as you would if you were lost, needing direction. In the wilderness life becomes mature. And in the corner of your drawer, tucked away like a cabin or hogan in dense trees, come knocking. And they will answer, give you directions, and let you warm yourself by this fire. Rest by this fire and make you feel safe. I love you. It's all I have to give, and all anyone needs to live, and to go on living inside, when the world outside no longer cares if you live or die. Remember, I love you. All right, let's go ahead and complete the guided questions. Um, if you're able to access the assessment questions, uh, go ahead and complete those. And then I'll create a separate document for the discussion questions. Number one, in the context of this poem, can money buy happiness? How does having nothing impact one's ability to love and be happy, if at all? Number two, consider the poet's background. In the context of the poem, how are people changed by love? What actions or behaviors can love provoke in us? Cite evidence from this text, your own experience, and other literature, art, or history in your answer. All right. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you on Monday.